Hello guys, welcome back to another video, Jello here, bringing you the next episode of my BPO review series. This is episode number six, as I just dropped my controller on the floor. That was a really good move, um, and the thing has come loose, great. Um, today we have three potentially big games, um, not necessarily, oh my god, I can't even get my controller back together now, because... It's just decided. There we go. They're back. We're back. Controller's back online. Thank God for that. Okay. Uh, today, <laughs> took me a while. Today we've got Roma in the group stage of the Champions League at the halfway stage. And we take on Palace who at the moment are in the relegation zone at home. A winnable game. And then at the moment, then we take on West Bromwich Albion away. And at this present moment in time, on the 19th of October, it's at the top to battle now whether it will still be that come the day uh, we will not know but Roma is first up and uh, let's just jump straight into it right then guys for this first match against Roma in the Champions League we have Schmeichel in gold Simpson Heath Moore and Fuchs I think it is I know it's Schlupp at left back uh, drink water Kante De Grey and Morris in midfield Joa and Vardy playing up front in the usual 4 triple two formation that we've been using pretty much all season. Uh, as for Roma, they have Chesney in goal, man, that's at the back with a few others in terms of the key players. Um, De Rossi at CDM, Pjanic on the left, right, uh, Nyan Golan on the left, uh, Perotti, Shirari and Salah making up the Roma's front three. But we're coming the attack with uh, seven and a half minutes in. Ryu Huth plays Vardy in, cuts inside. Doesn't quite get enough power beyond the shot to beat Chesney, but it is a decent save from the uh, keeper who is, I believe, is he still on loan or has he actually moved to Arsenal? I think he's still on loan at from Arsenal. Um, but we come on the attack again. Danny Simpson into Drinkwater, into Mares. Goes on a little bit of a run, taking out a couple of key players there and gets a shot away. Another fantastic save from Wojciech Chesney and uh, still 0-0, nil -nil, 20 minutes played or so. Uh, we do take the corner here. Roma get it cleared out just about only to drink water though who tries to find the top right hand corner but unfortunately fires wide. Roma come on there for first attack of the game, 27 minutes played. It's Perotti who is in but unfortunately fires the shot over the bar, 30 minutes played. And uh, on the brink of half time here, Rajoa coming forward now played in by Vardy. How on earth he hasn't buried that bottom corner? I have actually no idea. I didn't need him, didn't want him to scuff the shot but he did. And it's 0 0 at half time in this game but unfortunately also. He was offside, so that's another reason why the shot was probably scuffed. But at the start of the second half, El Shirari plays in Salah, who gets the ball to the back post for Perotti, but unfortunately the ball hits the bar, and we somehow managed to get it cleared eventually. Uh, but we cut, Roma come on the attack again, Shirari running through the uh, Leicester defence here. Good shy, good save from Michael, absolutely wonder save. I generally thought it was 1-0. Nine Golan gets played in by Castan. Uh, here, whips the ball into the box, no he doesn't, he actually passes it and it's a first time shot by Roma, they get the corner, um, they whip it in and do we get it clear, no it's a header straight into the hands of Kasper Schmeichel, 30 minutes to go, uh, 72 minutes played now, Pjanic gets played in, plays it over to uh, De Rossi, no it was Dzeko, straight into the hands of Schmeichel once again and uh, throws the ball to Mohamed Salah, why would you do that Schmeichel? And uh, luckily enough, he uh, makes up for that mistake with another massive save in this game. And right at the end, Manolas plays in. Uh, Nyan Golan, I think that was. And Roma smash one. Top left-hand corner. Finessed it. Brilliant goal there. I can't believe that uh, we uh, we lost the game because of that. And I oh, know it wasn't Nyan Golan. It was Dzeko. My mistake. Um, but... I, I genuinely couldn't believe I conceded that goal. I mean, how, I mean, it's a fantastic strike, don't get me wrong. But we do try and get ourselves a draw right at the death of the game. But unfortunately, that doesn't quite work out. And the final shot of the game gets fired wide. And it ends Leicester nil, Roma 1. And we lose another game in our Champions League campaign. Into the next game in the Premier League. We are at home. It's Michael Moore, Huth, Morgan and Schlupp at the back. Kante, Drinkwater, Morris and Albright in the midfield. And the partnership of Vardy and Ajoa carries on from the game against Roma in midweek. Um, Crystal Palace. So, McCarthy is in guard. Mariapa, McCarthy, Dan and Suare at the back. Yeah, then that MacArthur, Chung Yong at midfield. Um, with Belassi at Cam, I believe. Shamak, oh no, Shamak at Cam. And then Wickham up front. 
on his own. 11 minutes played, all Brighton cuts the inside from on the left hand side, gets a shot away, good save from the keeper. Um, we come on the attack again five minutes later, Rajoa on the ball now, cuts inside into the middle of the pitch, gets an absolute banging shot away, top left hand corner, or top right hand corner, sorry. And uh, we take the lead, it's 18 minutes played, we've gone in front here in another game where we knew we had to win to try and secure our spot in Europe for next season. And we are duly on course to do so now if we can get a, a win here in this game. Fantastic run by Ajoa, a fantastic piece of play, a fantastic shot and a fantastic goal to finish it off. Uh, we come on the attack again, drink water into Kante, goes around a couple of players, good shot, good save from the Palace keeper and Palace managed to get it cleared away just about... Um, Back to that defender, but then again, they come on the attack again after 25 minutes or so. We get the ball into the box. What we're doing now, I've got no idea, but they <laughs> it's a penalty. It's a clear penalty now. I don't quite know what I was doing, but it is a penalty, and Palace now have a chance to bring themselves right back into this game. You can see here, Morgan does get his number of the ball, and literally goes for the, the Palace attacker's leg, and it's a clear penalty. It's not a yellow card, but it's a penalty. Marwan Shamak to take the penalty. I don't die for it, but he does get it in just about off the bar, off the underside. And uh, Shamak brings Palace level and uh, they score from 12 yards. Oh, I really wish I saved that, but then again, penalties is 50-50. It can be lucky. Albright's a decent shot there, but unfortunately was blocked. Could have been 2-1 if it was on target, but we do get the corner here, taken by Morrows as ever, into the box from Golo Kanto. Fantastic save from the keeper once again to keep the scores level. Just before 40 minutes, we'll brighten up with a shot off the post there, and Palace get it cleared away with ease. We got a bit closer now, three minutes till half time. All Brighton, another fantastic run, another fantastic shot, and a fantastic save. But the rebound goes in by Kante, but unfortunately, because of the initial shot, he was in an offside position. And uh, you can see it here. Fantastic shot from Royal Brighton. Saved onto the post, I believe, looking at this now. Oh, no, maybe it won't show you that. But it does show that Kante was in a clear offside position. Into the second half now. And Mahrez is going through now. Fantastic chance here. And uh, what a goal that is. Not quite a sale. What a goal. But it was deflected slightly to go into the goal that easy. Otherwise, I think the keeper would have made a simple catch. But you can see the deflection quite clearly in the replay here. Uh, takes a shot now, gets defected off the defender's leg and uh, we come in the attack again with Morris with 68 minutes played, drink water over to All Brighton, back into Jamie Riley, first time volley, straight into the hands of the Palace keeper 78 minutes played now, we are Palace coming forward and they do a sliding tackle shot into the back of the net what on earth was I thinking, I don't quite know who, t who, saved, uh, who scored it there uh, number 18, not entirely sure, but you can see from the replay that the defence just once again switched off slightly again. And, you know, I think it was just a fantastic piece of one-touch football. And Schmeichel, for me, could have just stayed on his line, but I decided to put, bring him out, which is obviously a bad move. But we do end that game with a two-all draw at home to Crystal Palace in the Barclays Premier League. And... Uh, our final game of the episode is away at West Bromwich Albion. The league leaders and Ben Foster is in goal for them. Gamboa, Chester, Evans and Bognoli at the back. Sandro, McManaman, Sessegnon, Morrison and McLean in a five-man midfield. And then Solomon Rondon up front on his own. As for Rush, Michael is in goal as ever. Simpson, Heath, Moore and Fuchs at the back. Kante, Drinkwater, Morris and Albrighton in midfield. And then Jamie Vardy's partnering Shinji Okazaki. Up front in the usual four triple two. Uh, this is obviously a must-win game. It's a tough one, obviously being up against the league leaders. But Danny Simpson comes forward here into the box, and uh, unfortunately gets tackled. Could have been a chance there after 21 minutes. 33 minutes played now. Jamie Vardy beats the defender to the ball. Uses a bit of strength to get into the box and fires his shot, but into the bottom left-hand corner. Leicester take the lead away at the uh, Hawthorns, and uh, we go one up against the league leaders. A brilliant piece of running from Jamie Vardy. Uses a bit of his strength and his determination to keep hold of the ball and score. His first goal in quite some time, actually. But Sessegnon comes on to the attack in the second half here. Uh, Rondon into Sessegnon. Over to McLean. 
plays it back post sort of we get it somehow sort of cleared but they don't we don't clear it properly enough and then eventually we do get it cleared a fantastic piece of defending there five minutes later uh, we get the ball back no we don't we get p- tackled from Pritchard a substitute um, but a poor clearance there straight to p- uh, p- p- uh, Pognoligo or whatever his name was I can't remember but a fantastic strike there from um, I don't even know who scored it, but the attacker, fantastic strike there, top right right hand corner, well played from uh, West Bromwich Abbey and a Leicester defender switching off once again, and uh, we get on the attack here with Mares, an absolute peach of a strike, right into the top right hand corner with ten minutes to go, we regain the lead, and uh, Mares with a beautiful beautiful goal. Um, I can't believe what I'm seeing, what I saw with my eyes when I scored that goal, but Mahrez protects the free kick, six minutes played, four minutes and a half left to go and the game left to go, Dyer, a substitute, plays it, he doesn't play it, <laughs> he absolutely smashes it, top right hand corner, uh, what a goal it was to finish West Bromwich Albion off and just show who the better team is. Um, I just, I thought he played it into somebody else, but then again obviously he just touched it down a couple of times. Got into a bit of a better position, actually smashes it. Top. We get another chance here with Mares to try and make it 4 1, but unfortunately, it doesn't quite be pulled off, and that is how the game ended 3 1 to Leicester. Well, guys, that draw with Crystal Palace and that 3 1 win away at West Bromwich Abbey in the league leaders uh, means that we move from ninth up to sixth in the league, 11 games played, 18 points. F- Five points off top spot where West Bromwich Albion still sit a point behind second place Chelsea. Very tight up the top of the table. And uh, next episode, we have obviously got three more games. uh, One of which is against Sporting CP, a bottom two battle in the group. Um, We also have um, Watford and Burnley in the league um, if I could actually go on to it properly so we've got Sporting in the group stage of the Champions League Watford are home in the league and Burnley away in the league um, this game against Sporting is a must win game if we're going to book our place and to stay in Europe altogether really whether it be Champions League or Europa League um, but uh, thank you very much for watching this episode guys like, comment, subscribe and I will see you in the next episode for another few big big games. See you later.